All right, you guys, today I'm gonna to show you a more different tutorial, which is gonna be more in the illustrative part. And this tutorial is inspired by Adrian Valujo. Hope this is how I pronounce correctly. So let's dive into this. All right, step one, click on the fill, click on the stroke, click on the none, and click on the fill. So it's gonna be on the top. I'm gonna to change up the colors. Let's go to swatches. I'm gonna go with magenta. Let's select the circle, press and hold shift, create a circle like that. Now let's go and select the rounded rectangle and we're going to make the bunny's ear. I'm going to go and select the rounded rectangle again. And this basically going to be the inside of the ear. I'm going to position it here in the center. Let's go to the fill, change it up. Actually, I'm going to go and customize this yellow a little bit more. This is going to be the right color. I'm going to make it 100% rounded, put it up and bring it in here. And now I'm going to go and position the ears on the head. I'm going to select both vector shapes with the ears, right click group right click arrange send it back now it's behind the head of the bunny i'm gonna tilt it like this maybe scale it a little bit more bring it in and i'm gonna go and select the reflect tool press and hold alt click somewhere here click on vertical copy and now we reflected it now let's select all of this right click group now let's go to 3d materials click on inflate I'm gonna decrease the depth to zero and click on inflate both sides. I'm gonna scroll down and here we got the XYZ rotation and I'm gonna go and customize it. I'm gonna type in here 138 minus 145, Z rotation 142. And we're also gonna to need to increase the perspective here and check this out. If I increase it, it is going to stretch it and it's gonna make it look really dope. I'm gonna go with 124. And now we're gonna to need to create the facial expression of the rabbit. So I'm gonna put the head right here. I'm gonna to go to the swatches, choose a color for it. And I'm gonna select the circle, press and hold shift. And this is gonna be one of the eyes. Press and hold all to drag it to the right. And I'm gonna swap it from field to stroke. Let's go to the properties, increase the stroke thickness, and I'm also gonna increase the eye. This is gonna be the size of it. Let's select the circle again, press and hold Alt, drag it down, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. Now I'm gonna select the direct selection tool, select the top anchor point, press on delete, and let's go and click on join. I'm gonna swap it from stroke to fill and position it. Now I'm also gonna need to create the teeth, so I'm gonna select this polygon tool, Press and hold Shift plus Alt. Now don't release with the mouse, press the down arrow. So this is gonna remove the edges one by one until you're gonna get a triangle from it. And I'm gonna go to this little circle, bring it in, make it rounded, click on expand shape and just mount it in. Press and hold Shift, rotate and place them in the mouth. I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna go to the Pathfinder to Unite and I'm gonna go and select the Direct Selection tool, select these sharp pets, press and hold Shift, select them all and I'm gonna bring these circles down so I'm gonna make them rounded. Now I'm gonna select all the mouth with the teeth, press Shift plus M or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool from here, press and hold Alt and click on the unnecessary shapes. So it's gonna cut it off. Now select them all, right click, group. Let's go to the 3D materials and just drag it in. And it's gonna show up into the materials graphics right here. Now I can delete it. So now I'm gonna go back to the bunny's head, select it. Let's go to the materials graphics and select the graphic that you created place it on and just drag it and position it. You also can scale it down and you also can rotate as well. Let's go back to the materials, scroll down here, go to the roughness, type in 63. Let's go to the metallic 0.2. You also can go and activate the ray tracing to see how it's gonna look realistically. And now but least let's go to the lighting, scroll down, bring up the intensity to 97, I rotate 127, height is good, softness I'm gonna increase it to 90, and the intensity should be on 50. I'm also gonna add some shadows at the bottom, let's go and select the circle, and just create an oval, a right click, arrange, send to back, position it, let's go to the gradients, activate the gradients, change it to radial gradient, and let's swap it, Press the letter G and here with the circle, you can compress the gradient, arrange it however you like to make it look more realistic. And this is how I made this insane looking bunny here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.